Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. It is me Deepesh Rai and you are watching Deepesh Rai YouTube channel. If you want this kind of technological videos in my YouTube channel, you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Welcome to you all, dear friends, and my YouTube channel. So without any late, let's begin our topic. Today we'll discuss about WordPress and Drupal. Uh, and you can get some idea uh, after watching this video. WordPress and Drupal are two of the most widely used content management system. It is called in shortcut CMS platforms all over the world. Knowing which CMS platform is right for your business depends on your short and long term goals. If you are looking for an open source and user friendly solutions to your CMS needs, either platform will do. If you start asking around, however, you may get a diverse range of opinions on which platform is based. Depending on who you ask, for example, if you ask an experienced web developer and a business owner who isn't very tech savvy, you likely get very different responses. Why? because they have different technological skills and most likely having significantly different goals they are looking to achieve so what is the similarities between uh, wordpress and drupal i'm going to discuss about the similarities between wordpress and drupal uh, there are a few things that make both wordpress and drupal great whether you are new to content management system solutions or a highly skilled web programmer. So first uh, similarities between WordPress and Drupal is they are both open source solutions. Both uh, Drupal and WordPress are open source solutions which means they are free to use and to develop further. This makes them both affordable and customizable to meet your specific needs. And another similarity between WordPress and Drupal is you have got support from a strong community. Both platforms are popular and therefore widely known and used throughout the web development world. If you have an issue or don't know how to do something, you have got access to a community of developers and users who can help you find the best solutions. And another similarity between WordPress and Drupal is they are both easy to use. Yes, uh, it's very easy to use. While both Drupal and WordPress are considered user friendly platforms, some may argue whether they are equally and user friendly when compared with some other available CMS platform. Especially proprietary solutions, they are both generally easy to use. And let's talk about the content management system share percent. And I'm showing you a market share percentage pie chart. You can see in the pie chart, the most of this uh, part 60% uh, area occupied by WordPress is the uh, one of the largest uh, content management system because it is easy to use and another is uh, Magento it's uh, occupied by 2% and Drupal 5% and Joomla 6% and other CMS there is lots of lots of other content management system also available in the market yeah, it's uh, occupied area is 27% only and let's begin our main video okay so let's talk about wordpress versus drupal which is the pros and cons today we'll discuss in this video so in the left side here is wordpress and in the right side there is drupal and uh, number one is uh, wordpress have 53,000 plus free plugins plus thousand of more premium plugins but in the drupal you can get 39,000 models only you, you cannot get uh, free, uh, free plugins but you have to use uh, modules in Drupal's and in the way in the WordPress there is 5,000 plus free themes plus thousands of more premium themes but in the Drupal only you can get 2,500 plus themes one day and in the WordPress is secure 
but the fact that Surface relies so heavily on third-party extensions does make it more vulnerable than Drupal. But in the Drupal, beyond its enterprises level security, Drupal is generally more transparent and security than WordPress. And WordPress embraced the idea of premium plugins and themes, but the Drupal discouraged premium plugin and themes. And here is another table you can see. WordPress is easier to learn and use. You can easily learn and you can easily use, but the Drupal has more complex built website than WordPress. And WordPress code is upgradable, but Drupal updates are more comprehensive overhauls. WordPress security measures, but to note that you will be more open to hacks if you are not updating plugin regularly. But Drupal is known for its tight security and security reporting. WordPress has a native app for updating your site on mobile, but Drupal does not, but it has a responsive mobile admin dashboard. WordPress has ton of options. But the Drupal themes tend to require more work to get customizations. So after this video, I think you got some idea about WordPress and Drupal. And today uh, we discuss about which is the best platform for you. I think you get some ideas after watching this video. So which platform is right for your project? In summary. The comparison between these platforms really comes down to things, your skill level and the complexity of your project. WordPress has a pretty massive following and it's easy to see why. It's easy to learn and not hard to find your way around. For anything from simple marketing sites to bigger multi-site installs, WordPress is technically easier to use and also very well engineered. Drupal is going to ask a bit more from you to make the most of its amazing features. It can rise to the occasions of the most complex sites and keep security locked down. So thank you so much for watching this video and hoping you like this video and if you have any kind of queries you can give me a comment in the comment section. So thank you so much for watching this video. Goodbye.